Hi, it's Brendan Howe here with your TDC Net Tech Tip, giving you tips and tricks on how to use technology more effectively. Today, I'm talking about the bane of my existence, printing problems. I can't stand them. If I'm trying to print and I can't print, if I'm on the way out to a client, if I'm trying to get something, something out, something done, and I can't print, oh man, it drives me nuts. And you're probably the same way. So here's what I wanted to do today. Give you some simple troubleshooting steps that you can take if your printer is not working properly. So you can get it fixed and you can get back, uh, back on with your day and you can reduce the amount of frustration that you have from printing problems. So some of these tips apply at home too. So if you've got one of those kind of cheapy $100, $100 printers or something like that, um, you can do some of these troubleshoot, troubleshooting steps and you can get it working properly again. So uh, here, we're in, we're in my office right now. I've got uh, a printer. Uh, this printer and I have become very good friends. It works very well for me. Hardly ever has a problem. It's a good thing too because if he had a problem, my little HP here had a problem, he'd probably get thrown against the wall or something like that because uh, I have no patience for dealing with printer problems whatsoever as, as my team will kind of tell you. Anyway, back to our uh, printing troubleshooting steps. I'm going to give you four, four uh, troubleshooting steps. Basic troubleshooting steps you can do if you can't print. So number one, check the printer for error messages. So there's a little display up on, on your printer. It's fairly basic, a lot of people know this, but if you can't print, first thing you do, walk over the printer and look. It might say it's out of paper, might say it's out of toner, might say there's a jam, that sort of thing. That's gonna give you a really good idea of what's going on and why your printer isn't working. Number two, reboot the printer. It's, it's a sad fact with the IT world, if you reboot it, a lot of times it'll just fix itself. If it hasn't been rebooted in a long time, if there's something going on with the network, you reboot it, you're gonna fix it. So give it a little reboot, press the power button, yank out the power cord, that sort of thing. Reboot the machine and see if it starts working after you do that. Number three, check to see if other people around you can print. So if you're in an office environment, see if there's other people in the office who can, uh, who can print. If there's other people who can print, then you know it's something desktop related, it's something specific to your computer. If nobody can print at all, maybe it's your print server, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's the printer itself, that sort of thing. So that kind of narrows it down uh, and it's gonna help you get to the solution a lot faster. So, and then number four, which is a slightly, slightly more advanced is uh, checking the print queue. So if you're using Windows 7, you can go to the devices and, and printers screen. Uh, you just go start menu, click on devices and printers, and then open up the printer that you're printing to. So in this case, I'd be opening up my HP uh, and looking, looking at the queue, see if anything's stuck. It'll say, it'll have error messages. It'll say spooling or, you know, different stuff like that. You can delete those. You can, if there's one print job that's stuck in the queue, you can delete that and, and get yours going or, or that sort of thing. So they're your favorite. That's your kind of printer troubleshooting 101. Now, I'll give you one more slightly more advanced option. So if, if, you're, feeling, if you're feeling more confident uh, and, and you're feeling good that you can, you can try a little bit more advanced printer sh troubleshooting, the other thing you can do is you can uh, delete and re-add your printer. A lot of times this will fix the issue that, that you're having. So if you want to try that, if you've tried the, the four basic steps and they haven't worked, then let's go to deleting and re-adding the printer. What you're gonna do is in your Windows 7 start menu, open it up, go to devices and printers. You're gonna find your, your printer, you're gonna right click remove, and then towards the top of the, the screen, you're gonna see a little button that says add, and you're gonna add that printer back. You're gonna pick the printer, so if I was doing this, I'd pr pick the HP printer, uh, and then, then I'd give it a try again to see if that works. So if that doesn't work, you've got two, two more options to you. One, you can pick up the printer, you can throw it against the ground, throw it against the wall, kick it, that sort of thing, or you can give us a call and you can have one of our, one of our team solve it for you. Both probably have about the same amount of satisfaction. One's gonna be a little bit more expensive to you than the other. That would be destroying your printer. Uh, so anyway, there's your TCNet tech tip, giving you tips and tricks on how to use technology more effectively. Happy printing. I hope you don't have any printing problems and have a great day.